In today's video, I'll be talking a lot about AWS certifications and why you should consider getting a certification or what certifications are available for you. I'll walk you through some of the certifications which you can get to gain more experience and to prove your technical expertise as well as to rightly position yourself for your DevOps interview or for your cloud computing interview or whatever interview you may have that the certification might be of added advantage to you. You want to watch this video to the end because you get to know more about AWS certifications, the various certifications available and how you can get get ready for those certifications if this is your first time coming across our content hit the subscribe button right away and get subscribed to our channel because every week we have videos that are geared towards walking you through and making your devops and cloud computing journey smooth certifications basically are one of the ways that people can use to prove their expertise in any given domain and cloud computing or aws is not an exception so you want to get yourself some certification to make yourself stand out during some job applications because in as much as there are many people applying or there are a lot of people getting the cloud computing skills the certification might be just that one thing that can help you stand out in an interview or in a job position more than another person so aws says that the certification program is actually one of the ways which you can use to validate your technical skill and your cloud computing experts for maybe your career or your business and the more of these certifications which you have the more credible your expertise in the aws cloud can be proven there are a lot of certifications which aws has and each of these certifications vary based on the expertise levels from beginners to intermediate to professionals and even to specialties that's how aws has the certifications broken down so we have aws cloud practitioner foundational certification which is a very basic certification and is actually meant for someone maybe has no prior knowledge on it or cloud computing so anyone maybe has been taking their personal or self-study on aws they can come and get the cloud practitioner that will just give them the right start to getting fully abraced with the aws cloud stack now after you've had maybe your cloud practitioner foundational certification there are also the associate level certifications and we have the aws solutions architect associate we have the developer associate we have the systems or the systems administrator associate that's another set of certifications which you want to consider and for you to get your associate certifications there's a need for you to have proud cloud or strong on-premise it experience the it experience which you may have on-premise or on the cloud can give you that positive or that quick start to actually get yourself ready to be certified as a cloud solutions architect or as a cloud developer associate or as a systems associate this actually showcases your knowledge and your skills on aws based on your credibility on the aws cloud after you've gone through your associate level certification you have the professional and the professional actually is for someone who has been using the aws cloud for perhaps a year or two and not just using the aws cloud but has an in-depth knowledge on the usage of some of the resources on aws so you have the aws professional certification and there are just two of them we have the solutions architect professional and the devops engineer professional the last category of certification which aws offer is a specialty certification and the specialty is for people who have actually or who actually want to build expertise in a particular domain on the internet perhaps you want to be a machine learning expert you want to be an artificial intelligence expert you want to be a database administrator you want to be a sub on aws or you want to do advanced networking concepts you can go in for your specialty certification so very briefly i'm going to walk you through some of the very intricacies of the various certifications the cloud practitioner basically is for offering basic or foundational knowledge on some of the aws services services on user management like iam services on storage s3 all the various storage offerings s3 efs ebs even compute on lambda all of that so you walk you through some of the storage offerings on aws he equally talks on some of the database storage on aws the networking security and even the treaty architecture so you can have all those things or all those concepts covered in the cloud or uh, practitioner foundational certification and basically for you to take this certification it costs a hundred dollars and there are 65 questions either multiple choice or multiple responses that you can use or that you can expect when preparing for your aws cloud practitioner equally you want to make sure that you take note of some of the sites the exam guide you can download the exam guide from this site or you can also download some of the sample questions while preparing for your cloud practitioner or foundational certification we equally have the cloud aws certified solutions architect associate and this associate basically does not require deep hands-on coding experience like aws will say that it doesn't require deep hands-on coding experience this is just you proving that you have an idea on aws services and how you can use to architect highly available scalable and secure infrastructure on the 
AWS cloud. So if you are aspiring to be a solutions architect professional, maybe you want to start by taking your associate certification, taking a couple of interviews, maybe working on, on in, in the industry for a couple of years, and then you get to get your professional. But with solutions architect associate, you can stand out as a professional. Now the associate certification lasts 130 minutes in contrast to the cloud practitioner foundational, and it costs 150 dollars. AWS sometimes offers discounts for like if you get a solutions architect associate, you can get some discounts to take the professional, or if you get the foundational, you can get some discounts to take the associates. But you don't want to rely on that to like this the cost of the associate is 150 dollars and you can schedule um the interview on the various sites so you can schedule the, the, the certification on the various sites and you equally have 65 questions to answer during your certification the developer associate equally has 130 minutes or length for the interview 150 dollars for you to schedule or for you to pay for the certification and at, at this time they says you can take your exam between march 15 and may 31st 2020 and you'll be eligible for a free retake so if you need perhaps you've taken a certification before and you were not able to succeed you can take it between this period of time and you get a free retake should you not succeed now the same thing with the aws systems administrator they equally have 150 dollars as cost for the certification then 130 minutes which you expect to as the length of the certification the solutions architect associate professional basically helps to showcase your expertise and knowledge on advanced concepts as a dev, as solutions architect on the aws cloud so it shows that you have problem like they say here that it shows that you have skills in providing complex solutions to problems optimizing securing cost optimizations performance and even scaling manual processes so this is an opportunity for you to showcase your expertise in skills as far as architecting solutions on aws is concerned the length of the professional certification is 180 minutes and in contrast of the other certifications the professional certification costs 300 dollars that's the same thing for the devops engineer professional that costs 300 dollars and 180 minutes to complete the examination aws says that job listing requiring the certification have increased by 52 percent between 2021 and 2022 the number of companies that want devops engineer professional certified experts has increased by 52 percent and that's equally giving you an opportunity on getting your professional certification the last set of certification which we are talking about are the specialty certification and like i mentioned we have the security specialty sap specialty database specialty data analytics specialty machine learning specialty and lastly the networking or advanced networking specialty you can prepare towards one of these specialty certifications and you can showcase more of your expertise on aws cloud in one of these areas and mind you it costs 170 minutes and 300 dollars for you to take this certification now what's the summary of all these things we've been saying as a roadmap for certifications can't really say that one certification is important over the other but it depends on the context in which you want to take the certification if you are interested in becoming a solutions architect on the aws cloud you might want to start with a foundational certification where you just get the basic understanding of aws services and then after that you move to your solutions architect associate where you can prove that you have basic knowledge and some hands-on experience on aws and after taking your solutions architect associate you want to take your professional certification so that way it shows that you have the experience and you have the portfolio to engage engage in solution architect projects if you are aspiring to be a devops engineer you equally want to start with your cloud practitioner foundational certification after that you move to the solutions architect associate where you get to understand aws services and after that you move to the devops engineer professional certification where you should have further certified as an aws expert and lastly if you maybe want to be a database administrator or you want to specify in advanced networking concepts or you want to specify even in machine learning or whatever the case you now now might want to take the solutions architect associate and then in combination to that you perhaps move to your machine learning specialty or you move to a database specialty whatever the case but all the same you getting a certification is important because it proves that you don't only know maybe the technical skills but you have advanced skills in understanding and comprehending some of the services which aws offers i hope this video was helpful to you and if you've not yet taken a certification do well to schedule yourself a certification get ready for the certification and bag it because the moment you have a certification that might be your distinguishing factor between others who don't have the certifications and that way you can put yourself ahead when applying for interviews once again there's a link to the devops community in the video description and a link to a one-on-one -on -one mentorship call with me i can further guide you on how to go about your journey being certified or 
along your notification journey on aws thank you for watching this video today and i'll see you in our next video